skin, I forgive you. I forgive you for poking and popping me when I broke out at 14. I forgive you for that awful belly ring hole you left in me when you were 15. I forgive you for damaging me before prom, on spring break, and at tanning salons when you were 16, 17, 18. But I'm your skin, and if you continue to tan, I hope you can forgive me. Forgive me when wrinkles begin to show and I start developing age spots. Forgive me if I develop melanoma when you're only 22. So please, I'm asking you to stop. Stop tanning now. Our future depends on it. Protect your skin from melanoma, the second most common cancer in young women 15 to 29 years old. And protect your future. Learn more at spotskincancer.org. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. You are listening to Tower Talk Business Radio on the voice of NASA Community College 90.3 WHPC. My name is Ray Schwetz, and our guest today is Derek K. Price, President and CEO of New York Plumbing and Wholesale Supply Incorporated. So, Derek, um, we've talked about some of the things that entrepreneurs are facing. We've talked about the trends. Um, now, what kind of advice would you give to an entrepreneur who's, who's just starting their journey? What would you, what would you tell them? Mm-hmm. I know this is a tough one, but try to remember back in the day when you were in those shoes, just starting out again. Well, um, I think entrepreneurship is more than, in fact, I know it's more than just being a business owner. Mm-hmm. Um, entrepreneurship is more about vision. Um, about how you see things. In fact, most entrepreneurs will tell you is that w- w- we see opportunity in mostly everything. Sometimes we don't act upon it, but we, we can. I can look at this room and say, you know what, mm, I can make money out of this room. <laughs> so, you know, it, it starts with a vision. Um, but you have to put the vision on paper. It, it can't stay as a, a concept in your mind. You got to take the hard steps of trying to cause that vision to come to fruition. So it starts by inquiring, um, going to the website and figuring out how to start a business, how to incorporate, um, getting some training. You, you, you'd be surprised how that can give you so much motivation to start um, your entrepreneurship dream. Yep. And I think you, you hit something there with asking questions and uh, trying to find out how to do things. I think surrounding yourself with good people uh, is also pretty fantastic, and obviously you've done that. Um, when you mentioned vision, uh, the first thing that struck me was one of my favorite books about business uh, is Russell Simmons' uh, Life and Death. <laughs> and the number one thing that he says that business owners need is, is that vision, a clear path to you know this is where you want to go. Now we just got to figure out how to get there. How to get there. You know? Yeah. Um, so that, I think that's great advice. Um, now who's on your... Uh, he's one of the people on my Mount Rushmore for business. He's somebody I look up to. Who's on your Mount Rushmore for business? <laughs> well, Damon John is one of them. Yep. Um, but but I have, I have tr- tremendous um, mentors. Um, and, and most of them are spiritual. And what they teach... And what I glean from them, um, I apply that to the business. Um, one of the things that I'm trying to do is is get the faith community to understand that business um, is a part of faith. That the whole Bible is is, is contextualized around business. That um, the Bible speaks more about business and sowing and reaping. Um, and just as, as an example, you, you, you take a, a guy like Solomon, one of the, the richest kings, um, biblical kings, and you say, well, man, how did that guy get so rich? Well, yeah, he was um, blessed and God told him he's going to be rich. But you know what? Solomon was wise enough to take to harness all the trade routes in Israel. And those trade routes gave him a tremendous amount of wealth. That's business. Um, we look at guy, a guy like Abraham, and we say, "Oh, he was rich." Well, you know, he's rich in cattle and 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 gold and silver. Well, there's a business aspect to that as well. Everything's about business. Garden of Eden, be fruitful is about productivity. 
If you're going to make it in life, you've got to be productive. You can't just sit back and put your hands under your knees and wait for it to come out the sky. You've got to do something. So productivity, is, in, which is business, mm-hmm. you go to a supermarket, what do you see? It's a, there's a produce section, and in there is stuff that the trees produce and plants produce and farmers produce. Well, life is about producing, and that's part of business. Oh, absolutely. And it's, it's, it's funny you say that, too, because um, farming is always how I, I look at doing business. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's all relationship-based. It's all, you have to be out there doing things. It's not just going to happen. Uh, and I think that's something, it, it's a message that really needs to be delivered to today's uh, generation. Um, you know, it needed to be delivered to mine, and I think it's on us to deliver it to the next generation to say, hey, you know, if you want things to happen, you're the one that actually has to make that happen, and you have to do it in a way that's like farming you know it's not you're not just going to go get it it's not just you have to plant the seed you have to nourish the seed that's right you know you have to grow it Mm -hmm. so um i think that's a perfect analogy you you know you can have you can have a fistful of 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 seeds in your hand Mm -hmm. corn seeds it does nothing for you until you plant them in the right soil and you you spoke about uh, farmers the winter comes and when spring comes that that ground is hard that ground is, is difficult. They have to plow and open up that ground. Then they have to strategi- strategically drop the seed in the soil, fertilize, and then they have to wait. There's a portion of business that is the same way. You, you, have, to, you have to do the hard stuff. You've got to break open the ground. You've got to drop your idea and your vision right in there, and then you've got to kind of wait on it. You've got to kind of water it. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? You've got to babysit it until you see it start to come forth. So that's... That's business. So true. You are listening to Tower Talk Business Radio on the voice of NASA Community College, 90.3 WHPC. My name is Ray Schwetz, and our guest today is Derek K. Price, President and CEO of New York Plumbing Wholesale and Supply Incorporated. Now, you mentioned another key piece to me, um, you know, in in becoming an entrepreneur and, and, and being successful in business. Uh, you mentioned mentors. Um, so I imagine you work with mentors yourself. Uh, and, you know, assuming that, what's the best piece of advice that you, what, that was, de- what was the best piece of advice that was delivered to you? Oh, wow. The, the best piece was probably around 2010, a year in business, mm-hmm. frustrated, upset. And I, I called uh, a gentleman by the name of Bishop Michael Blue on the phone. I was sharing with him while in my store, my frustrations. Mm-hmm. And he said to me, if you don't have the capabilities to take your business to another level, then you live in the greatest metropolis in the world, New York City. He said, there's got to be people around you. He said, asking for help, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. If you need help, and if you don't have it inside your organization, go outside your organization. And then he said this to me, that if you're going to grow your business, you have to structure it for the increase. And I learned a lesson that day. You can build a house but if you want to build it to put a second story on you got to make sure the first level is adequate enough structured and adequate to handle the weight of the second building i wasn't doing that in my business i was just dealing with one level i had to learn how to structure my business for the growth and that has been a challenge but it's worked so that was probably the most valuable information that was ever shared with me oh that's sage advice Mm -hmm. you know you need that foundation you need everything to be just right and to save my company. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've, you've been in business, as you said, about 10 years now. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what would you say was your chief challenge with the business? Mm, the, the chief challenge is, um, is managing growth. We, we, we grew at such an accelerated rate. Um, one, year we, one year, we doubled our revenue. And I remember getting a call from um, the IRS and all business owners know how that, that feels when you get a call <laughs> they don't from the IRS. Get that call. <laughs> and the, the the lady on the phone asked me a lot of questions about my business. And I said, "Well, I don't know. I'll get back to you. Uh, I got to talk to this person, that person." She said, "Mr. Price, can I share something with you?" She said, um, "You now are a million dollar company." She said, "You need to know what's going on with your business." So that was like a shock to me, you know, for someone to say, "Hey, dummy." <laughs> you're, you're reaching certain levels now where you need to know. So, you know, that was um, 
another defining moment for me in my business, you know, to have an IRS agent say, hey, Mr. Price, you know where you're going. You need to know what's going on. So I, I, I start to, to reach out and learn how a little more about accounting, mm-hmm. um, more about um, cash flow and different things that I didn't know because I was a salesman. Right. And as a salesman, you don't learn those back office things, but I had to learn the back office part as well. Right. Make yourself more well-rounded. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And what would you say is your chief success? Or um, one of them? One of them. Well, um... Because I do think you have many given the roles that you have. In the um, business? Yes. Or actually, you know what? In life. In life. Well, I think my chief success is is to see the fruit of my labor, which is not business. The fruit of my labor is people. Mm-hmm. To see people grow, to see someone come off the streets and they're inspired by my preaching. They're inspired by my life, by my story. And to see their life change, that, that's, that's the greatest achievement. And it's nice to grow my business and, and the numbers are staggering. It's nice. Um, but I tell you, the, my real soul satisfaction is in seeing people transformed. And that's why we, we're going to LIEC. We, we want, and it says, if you see the flyer, if you go to the website, it's right there. It says, Ignite, Transform, Accelerate. We're hoping that at this conference that someone will catch the fire, because that's what Ignite means. Someone will be transformed, and, and trans means to move um, from one place to another. So we're hoping that the formation, whatever form they have now, this transformation will take their business to a whole nother level. And then we're hoping that if anybody's feeling this sluggishness in their in their life, that they'll put their foot on the gas and accelerate and go to the next level. That's excellent. And yeah, we're very excited about uh, the conference. Um, where can we find uh, the information regarding the conference? Well, um, Sierra is here now, and, and she, she didn't say much about herself, but she, she is, these two young ladies are gifted, gifted administrators. So um, she's been instrumental in putting a lot of the um, of these things together, and she's going to share with you um, some of those particulars. Yes, you can join us at the conference and go to the website, www.liec. 2018.com scroll through look at all of our speakers and Derek where can we find your information if our listeners want to contact you well I, I'm going to give you my email address because if any of the listeners want to come to this entrepreneurship conference if you email me I will give the first 50 people that email me free tickets to the entrepreneurship conference so you can uh, email me at Derek that's D-E-R-E-K at N Y P S the number one dot com. Once again, that's Derek D E R E K at N is in Nancy, Y is in yellow, P is in Paul, S is in Sam, the number one dot com. Thank you very much, Derek. Um, we'd like to thank our guest, Derek Price, President and CEO of New York Plumbing and Wholesale uh, and Supply Incorporated. Thanks for coming on the show today, Derek. Good to be here. Thank you. And also Sierra and Angelique, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. We want to thank you for being with us. My name is Ray Schwetz, along with Denisha Boston-Hill, your co-host and producers. The creator and director of Tower Talk Business Radio is Rudy Breedy. This is an NCC Foundation Business Leaders Council production. Visit ncc.edu slash whpc for more information. Available on iHeartRadio as a podcast on iTunes, Android Podcasts, and Spreaker. This has been Tower Talk Business Radio, powered by the NAS Community College Foundation. On the voice of NAS Community College 90.3 WHPC. We'll talk with you next week.